Hell yeah, sister. Welcome to the Assembly of Freedom. Hello and welcome to the Stover Farm Channel. I'm so glad to have you here with me. And this is the Assembly of Freedom. It's the Ohio version of the Freedom Factory. I love this game because you can make really whatever you want in the uh, game editor. And I don't know about you, but I'm a huge car enthusiast. I uh, love watching uh, car tubers. And Cletus McFarlane, one of my favorite channels to watch, and I've always admired uh, the Freedom Factory and what they have done uh, to that facility. And I thought, what the heck, let's build one on my Convoy Ohio map. Instead of calling it the Freedom Factory in Ohio, it's an assembly of freedom. And I had a entire area over on the west side of the map that could be both the Freedom Factory Oval and what is in essence Bradenton Motorsports Park, the drag strip. And I've built them both. So what the heck does it look like? Well, let's jump into flight mode and I'll show you. So way up in the air, you can see Convoy Ohio. This is no man's land. Remember, an all-platform map that you can build. We've done so much custom work on this map, and I try and make things uh, as all-platform friendly as possible. We've got the town. We've got two farms. We've got a nuclear power plant over there, and now we've got... A motorsports complex and just like the real one down in Bradenton Florida it might not have the same dimensions but we've got a drag strip complete with uh, well burnout box lanes lights bleachers I wish I had a timing system I do not have a timing system but you know down here on the big end of the track we've got okay use mods uh, standing in for the timing lights and it's exactly one quarter of a mile long at least it is in farm sim it's 400 meters i used um, four 100 meter uh, sections to measure out the actual drag strip portion and then there's like a 300 meter shutdown strip uh, with you know turnouts and even a little sand trap at the end because gosh you know there's so many um, placeable items, paintable items now in Farm Sim, and Alien Jim actually did a bunch of updates to this map, so you've got a ton more just from him, and this is an all-platform map. Again, you can make something just like this if you wanted to. So you've got the drag strip, and then over here you've got the very well-known Freedom Factory, uh, assembly of freedom and yeah it's got kind of everything there including all of his little patch areas on the track that uh, the Freedom Factory Cletus McFarland team was uh, doing to, to make the track work I think they've since either paved the entire track or they're in the process of doing it then you've got the grass that he's so proud of Definitely want to make sure we don't run over that. And then the little figure eight course in the center plus the burnout box. I'd say it's pretty cool. And again, 99.9% .9 of this is all platform mods just placed on the map in a way uh, that makes it right. The only thing that's not all platform right here are these snake bizzle uh, stands. Those are PC and Mac only. They are publicly available, though, from Snake Bizzle on his itch.io page. Uh, everything else, though, is that a Crown Vic? Ooh, might have to take that for a ride. Uh, everything else, I think, is all platform. So you could just, you know, sculpt it out yourself, lay down what you want, and make yourself your very own assembly of freedom and somebody definitely got a little squirrely there uh coming off the line there's an entirely new uh decorative item that is tire tracks so that was awesome to see let's get out of uh flight mode let's uh, you know 
check out the track. So we'll come down here to the staging area first. I've got this uh, 3500, Lizard 3500, all platforms. The stacker trailer, I forgot, that's not all platform. It is publicly available. Um, the GNX that I've got inside of it, that is not all platform, but it is publicly available. Um, is that the giveaway truck? I don't know. It's a Chevy version of it. Again, it's so fun to just role play with this game. And, and that's, I think, one of the really enjoyable aspects of all, um, you know, sandbox games is you can build stuff that you want. Got my C6 Z06 over here on the starting line. I'm not going to run that. Let's get the GNX out of the back real fast, and I'll just we'll take you down the track uh, and show you what we've got. This st stacker trailer is beautiful. I do have to turn it on to uh, open the back, but it does ride so nicely in there, and yes, the stacker portion does work. I don't remember exactly who the modder is that released this. If I figure it out, I'll link it down in the description. Let's pull the GNX out. And we'll bring her in here. No way to really do a burnout. I guess we could simulate a burnout. Put some sounds of a GNX accelerating. And hammer it. And exactly one quarter of a mile long, it's 400 meters. Uh, if modders were to make uh, cars that were perfectly uh, tuned, which this one actually pretty close for a GNX on a hot summer day, running a little over 100 miles an hour on the quarter mile. Pretty cool. Makes me excited. And why? so why do we do this? Well, we do stuff like this when we get tired of farming or we get tired of you know, planting or other things. And again, there's just so much you can do with this game. You can see the turnout areas, come in here and get my timing slip. It would be awesome if you could get a timing slip. Probably no way possible, but we'll pick that up. Oh boy, I ran a pretty terrible 14 flat at 100. I must need to tune this thing up. I think they're a lot faster than that. So that's the drag portion uh, of this area. Now let's head over to the uh, the assembly of freedom, and maybe we'll take the uh, the Chevrolet version of the giveaway truck. This is just uh, the the Chevrolet 3500 short cab uh, that is available now in red with some black wheels. No way to really mod the thing. I think it's 550 horsepower. Uh, in the game. It's available as a Lizard or a Chevrolet. You can download all platforms. Uh, there you go. So let's uh, let's run over. There's where you would enter. Again, it's not dimensionally accurate to what the Freedom Factory is. I didn't have enough space, but it's close enough. We've got the back road here heading down uh, to where they park all their jalopy cars. These are usually Crown Vics. There's no Crown Vic placeables. That's, I think, an old Ford LTD. Kind of the same thing, but the grandpa to the Crown Vic. Uh, and then there is uh, a, I found it online, it's available for uh, PC and Mac only, but it is public, and it is a Crown Vic. It it's, uh, doesn't have a ton of options on it, but, I mean, for this location, yeah, pretty cool. We definitely got to have it. It's got the correct interior, the gauges don't work. But what the heck, let's take it around the Freedom Factory. And, you know, if you had vehicles that could drift and whatnot, you could come in here to the little inner circle and, and do your drift section. Here's the burnout pad. Got to watch the grass. Don't go over the grass. Uh, but again, just fun stuff to do 
uh, with this game because, again, it's, it's a sandbox. You can build and do whatever you want. Come back over here, uh, and we can park it, and I'll just walk around real fast. And I've got the full build of this uh, actually in the editor right now, uh, exporting. I just thought I'd actually go backwards on this and show you the completed build first, because I, I think it's really kind of fun. Oh, I ran over the back. Hold on. I wanted to come up here. I wanted to show you what it looks like. Let's uh, turn the lights on. So let's go into Easy Dev. Go ahead and make it dark outside. Get those lights on. There you go. Pretty cool. This is my version of the Freedom Factory inside Farm Sim. We've got the lights over at the drag strip as well. It's actually really, really, really dark over here. And that's it. So if you want to see the full build on this, it's going to be a long one. I'm going to run it probably at 2 or 3x speed. Um, but I'll show you exactly what I did. And I hope you check it out. And I hope you try to do something like this as well. Don't always feel like you have to, uh, you know, wait for mods to come out. You can certainly make things yourself. And you'd be surprised if you just take a little bit of time, have a little bit of creativity, you could definitely create something really, really unique. So that was the walkthrough. Don't forget to check out the full build to see how you could do this yourself. We'll see you next time right here on the farm with the Stovers.